There's some amazing work being done by the men and women in uniform there. The Uttarakhand Rains rescue operations have involved more than 8,500 defense personnel and around 20 aircraft in the rain ravaged areas. It's become one of the largest relief and rescue operations conducted by the Army. And the Central Command of the Indian Army is coordinating the entire rescue and relief effort in Uttarakhand. NDTV's Anand Sanane spoke with Brigadier K. Uma Maheshwar for more. Give us a sense of how things are moving on the ground. The Army Commander Central Command is himself leading the Army operations in the Uttarakhand region. Uh, as per latest estimates, uh, in the Kedarnath sector, Army has been able to uh, induct troops and link up at uh, Rambada, uh, at Gaurikund. And this morning, we have opened a road from Sonprayag to Gaurikund. Now the road is open for evacuation from Gaurikund to Sonprayag on to Tehri. Since morning, we have evacuated 350 people. And in a daring act, Army aviators have dropped a, a team of uh, special paratroopers at Jangil Chetty between uh, Sonprayag and uh, Rambada, and they have evacuated 16 people from the riverbed. Mm -hmm. In the Badrinath sector, we, have, we are focusing our attention on the Hemkund axis. Last, late last night, Army has put a bridge across Alaknanda for the first time at Govind Ghat, and also bridged three breaches between Govind Ghat and Gagria and we have started evacuating people from that area on the Hemkund axis and we hope to evacuate everyone from Hemkund axis by tomorrow. So how favorable has the weather been as far as your rescue and relief efforts are concerned? Uh, whether uh, you know uh, that is hampering the process in any way whatsoever? Uh, despite the inclement weather conditions, Army has been able to put people on ground. Uh, it's pertinent to mention that last night uh, our Army has reached Gangotri we have opened road up to uh, Uttarkashi and we have evacuated 1,500 people in general area Harsil. Mm 